going on world it's your boy big chips man that sun is killer today but listen i'm coming to you today and uh basically trying to talk to you because we all have people in our life that just do not they, they don't do anything or they expect everything for nothing or they criticize you for the choices you make or they tell you you're wrong or you know that network marketing thing is a scam or whatever the case may be you know, I'm here to say, here's here's the problem with all of that. We allow it to affect us, all right? Bad things happen. You know, we make the wrong choices. We choose the wrong program or, you know, whatever the case may be. But here's the biggest thing that you need to learn, and, and this is in anything, in your life, your business, with your children, whatever, is it doesn't matter what happened. It only matters what what you thought about it, like what you got out of it, where you took it, you know, because it comes back to the power of your thoughts. And when you dissect it down, it only really matters what it means to you or what the meaning of it was to you, should I say. So it could be, you know, like my situation where you've literally been screwed by a company or by a thing or a product or whatever and you can sit there and you know cry over spilt milk or you can just clean that daggum mess up and then go make it happen somewhere else you know or be grateful that it happened the way it did because had it not you would have missed an opportunity you would have missed that that next bus <laughs> you know you would have missed that cab you would have been in that wreck you know there's a story of when I lived in outside DC that when I was traveling down the road, I was running really, really late. So to me at that time, that meant I was running behind. People were going to think that I, I enjoyed being tardy or, you know, whatever. I just, I hate being late to anything. And, you know, I grew up with the whole model, early is on time, on time, time is late, late is unacceptable. You know, and I used to breed this into my servers that I would train. And that was the philosophy I lived by. So as I went down the road, mad, frustrated, I'm an hour behind. It's going to push my day back two hours because I it was an hour drive where I was going. So that was an extra hour I lost on top of the two hours round trip minimum of travel. As I went down the road, about an hour right outside the town, about 45 minutes or so, because I was running about 45 minutes late, like, be technical, there was this horrible wreck, horrible. Now this delayed my day a whole lot, but what I come to find out was this wreck happened just you know 45 minutes earlier. So what would have happened had I not been late, had I not been running behind, had the universe not delayed me, had God not called me to stay home, you know, I would have been involved in that wreck. So what was a very bad thing to me because the meaning to me was bad. I was late, people would think I was disrespecting them, whatever the case may be, was actually a blessing in disguise. So don't always see all the bad in a situation. Look at it from a very neutral ground and keep in mind that whatever you put emotions behind, that's what your mind creates. So it comes to a point of power, and when something happens, something goes wrong, whatever the case may be, think back to that moment and ask yourself, what does that really mean to me? You know what I mean? What does it mean to me? What is the meaning behind it? Because the meaning behind it might not be what you want it to be. So if all you do is put the negative you know, connotation to it, the negative thoughts, the negative power, negative energy, all you're going to do is get more negative out of it. So if you want to protect yourself from that negative side, then you need to change how you, what you put your power toward, what you put your emotions behind. So I don't know, just a little rant there for you. I was sitting there thinking about it because I get, I get messages all the time and people say things and I'm like, but what do you really mean? You know, or what does that really mean to you? Because it's, 
just because the outcome came out in a negative way or a bad way, it doesn't matter about that situation. It only matters what it means, the meaning behind it to you. What do you believe? And that can tell you where your heart is, where your head is, and basically where your life's headed. So just something to think about, something to stew upon. So, you know, just like to throw things out there every now and then. But uh, if you got any questions, hit me up on the inbox. If you're ready to get started, click the link below. You know, if you like the videos, go ahead and like, subscribe to the channel, and comment on the channel. Helps me to, uh, or on the video. Helps to keep the videos going. But it's it's just good for morale, too. I'm not going to lie. But, uh, yeah, man. So we're good. So uh, think about the things that you're doing. What's the real meaning behind it to you? Make sure you're putting a positive reinforcement into anything that happens so that you don't live your life in a negative way or in a way that's going to be not have the good outcomes that you want. All right? So it's your boy, Big Chips, BusinessChips.com, and the Diamond Dream Team, making it every day, all day. That's just how we do it. All right? So we'll see you on the other side. One love, and we'll see you on the other side. <laughs> uh, make it a great day. I dare you.